Let's talk about the style. Juan Martinez, pit bull, bulldog, just going right at it. Yeah, to keep the boxing analogy, he's Joe Frazier right now, and he's punching and punching and punching. And she's Muhammad Ali, though. She's rope-a-doping. She's, she's acting calm. She's taking it on. Now, I've noticed he's gotten calm, too, and that's a good thing because when you have a point to make, you want the jury to hear it. If you keep punching, 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 the whole, the whole cross-examination, they don't get the pace of it. They don't know what to listen to and what not to. It all becomes monotonous. So I think he's doing it uh, right. He's punched on an important point, which is the finger, to show that she lies. And what's coming up now is that uh, I don't think there's any entry in that journal in January about about that finger. Got it. Okay. Again, Jeff and I were monitoring this as as are you as we uh, watch this real quick, Jeff, because you're concerned that basically, and let's go one more with the boxing analogy. He'll punch himself out. I mean, you can, can he yeah, maintain that... this pace for let's say two days? Well, I think he can. I, I'm even more worried about the jury. Can, you know, can the jury listen attentively if you keep up that high pace? They need valleys and, and hills to know what to pay attention to. And I think he's going to do that. Trees. And, and this pacing probably works in her favor a little bit. Slows things down. You can see Juan Martinez, arms crossed, pacing a little bit. Let's bring back our attorney, Jeff Gold. Jeff, and I, again, I apologize ahead of time in case I have to interrupt again if things crank up again. But does this help her to slow things down? I think it helps Juan. I think he huh. needs some pacing. I think this is good for him. I think that, you know, the thing speaks for itself. When he's saying she's a liar, do you want the jury to listen to that? And if he's always punching, always punching, maybe it gets lost. I think it's okay. Uh, I think calming it down is a, is a good thing. And as I said hey. before, you know, the cooler she is, maybe that's not a great thing for her. She's, Interesting. you know, an abused... Abused hey, victim, well, she's so Jeff, calm and collected. Let me, let me get you, here's a Facebook comment from Tesha saying, I hope the jury's not thinking he's a bully. You think he's coming off as a bully right now, Jeff? No, I, I do not. I just, I, I think that you have to have pacing. You know, cross-examination is actually an art, if you ask me, and there's a famous book written, The Art of Cross-Examination, more than just a fight. And so you need to, you need to pace it. You need to know what you're going after. And when there's a lie, hey, it's a lie. It's clear to the jury. You want them to soak that in. I'm okay with this. You know, she can look at this as long as she wants if I'm the prosecutor. If the end result is it shows she was lying, all the better. Let, let's backtrack just a second here as we see Juan Martinez again, arms folded. He's ready to go. Oh, oh, we're back. Okay. Sorry, Jeff. We'll talk about it in a moment. We're back in court. No, we're not. Sidebar time. So Jeff and I will continue our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we're, it's, we're, we're on the fly here. Uh, talk about his emotions. What do you think it's like? He has waited years to have this right. opportunity I, to cross-examine her. What kind of emotions do you think were brewing in the moments before the bell rang, it was time to meet her in the ring? Well, I'm sure he was very anxious. You can see him like a caged tiger during these uh, moments uh, that she, he has to stand there. He kind of paces a bit. He's raring to go. He's got a lot of ammunition. He's got, he's got stacks of ammunition just waiting, and he wants to get through them, and he wants to get through them rapidly. But as I say, uh, I think this pacing is good for him. And when it comes time that she is denying a lie, fine, hit her because she's a liar. Hit her because she's a liar and a murderer, and there's no shame in that. But allow some pacing so the jury can hear it. And I don't think, I think this is, you know, too long pacing. But nevertheless, some pacing is a good idea. Uh, he's got a lot of ammunition. Okay, let's talk. He, yes, he does. So how do you get that all together and make it coherent and, uh, you know, you, you're putting together a presentation for the jury? I mean, what's your, what's your attack plan here? Well, I mean, he, 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 his plan, for example, was to come out early on on that finger because that was relatively dramatic uh, in the courtroom. You know, sort of like if the, the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. Well, you know, here's the finger. If she has a bent finger, she must have been abused. So he's attacking that right away and saying, look, when it fit your purpose to say it happened on the night of when it fit your purpose to say it's part of your defense, you were abused, you said that. You are a liar. So coming out right away with that finger is a lie, which was dramatic in court, is starting to disturb everything. So that's his plan. Now he's going to go after lie, after lie, after lie. So th and, that's and then a he'll great, get into the murder. That's a great point because that was a dramatic moment. When she held up the finger, she held it up again here because he wants the jury to come away with, Travis Alexander never body slammed you and kicked you in the ribs and hurt your brain broke your finger, right? Absolutely. That jury, I think, is disappointed from, the, from yesterday uh, when she said nothing about what happened. And, and I think it's very easy. She left herself totally open now 
to be seen as a liar. And, 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 and Juan Martinez is going to go in for the kill. He just needs to do it in such a way that it doesn't over power, you know, the presentation. The facts need to speak for themselves, and if all you hear is barking and punching and barking and punching, you may not be able to hear the clear facts, which is, this was a lie, you, this was a lie, this was a lie. Without knowing her eyesight issues, do you think the jury picks up on, wait a minute, she's wearing the glasses, but to read, she's taken them off? No, I mean I don't because people have uh, you know near vi you know near vision, far vision. So maybe she needs it to see it. It's a large courtroom. When you're in the courtroom there, the distances are are really very amazing. You know some courts are small, some are big. Uh, if you're in the gallery, for example, I have to squint with my glasses to see somebody in the jury box. I mean so. Okay. Um, uh, no, I don't. I don't know. But I, I just thought it was interesting. The, the glasses Absolutely. came off. You mentioned it. Yeah. The, we we had yeah. the graph. There it is. The graphic says the gloves are off and. The the glasses are off, right. too. <laughs> All right, uh, Jet, we're going to take a quick break while she continues to read through journal entries. We'll see where Juan Martinez is going next. You won't miss it. Stay with us.